Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for the 17th through the 23rd. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically my readings are love readings. We'll see whatever comes up. You never know. They could just be a whole lot of empowerment. You never know. If this reading is confusing to you, if you're confused by it, it's not for you. All right. It should fit easily. If it doesn't fit easily, it's not for you. Okay. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now, can you also keep in mind that the timing is fluid? Okay. So, you know, for me, the readings have not been happening right at the time that you think they're going to happen. They happen when it's time. So keep that in mind. No longer needing to prove yourself. It's like you guys may be feeling like, I don't need to prove myself anymore. I know who I am. Getting grounded, coming back to reality, nurturing yourself, feeling more stable and secure. Oh, shit. But there's that back and forth, you know, as is, as in the temperance card. You know, if you think of there's extremes, okay? There's extremes. Grounded, ungrounded, grounded, ungrounded. And it's funny because I was getting ready to do your reading and I was waiting for the spin cycle to end on my washing machine. And I thought, well, geez, you should just start it now because it's spinning. It's spinning. And I was just waiting. I was sitting here waiting to do your reading, waiting for that spin cycle to end. So I thought spinning. And I almost started it during the spin cycle because it feels like you guys are spinning. It absolutely does. You're going back and forth, back and forth. You are. I mean, this is totally back and forth, okay? With stability over emotional. Grounded, ungrounded. You know, so there's a... One minute, you you're don't have to prove yourself, you're good. The next minute, you're still holding on to something. Something that is emotional, you're holding on to. Now, this can even be victim mentality. We all have it, so don't, don't think I'm pointing the finger at you. But during different times, it's more prominent for other people. So you could be, you know, seeing yourself as a victim in a situation when you're not really a victim. If you, if you find the devotion and the discipline to make yourself secure, then you will be. But if you choose not to be, if you choose to live in your head, if you choose to cry about it, well, then that's your choice too. I mean, that's what it is. You can choose to come out of... Um, Your pain, okay, you can, or you can choose to hang on to it. Trying to control things, maybe there could be some anger here. Maybe there could be some anger. Things may be a little out of control at this time, and that's where that spin cycle comes in. Things may feel like they're a little out of control. Oh, goodness gracious. So you guys have some, you could have some addictions, okay, that are affecting you. You could have some demons that you're trying to deal with. You could be sabotaging yourself. I mean, this, this is like self-sabotage. It really is. So you have, if you want success, if you want happiness, you're going to have to defend yourself and you're going to have to really put in a lot of effort to win this battle, whatever it is. Whatever it is that you're battling, if you want to win the battle, you're going to have to fight hard to win that battle. Let me focus this in before we go. It's like... Hold on, I hit the thing. I hit the damn thing. Uh, let me just open this, too. It's almost like you guys are throwing away. You're throwing away a solid golden opportunity. You are. And it, it is because of your own self-sabotage. Okay? You are sabotaging yourself because of your emotional feelings. Okay? You're letting your feelings get the best of you. You know, you have the ability to find discipline. You have the ability to 
come back down to earth and, and step out of this emotional turmoil that you're in. You do. You do. But you're going to have to face your demons, okay? That's what this is. There's an opportunity for a fresh new start here. There is. But you're going to have to let go of anger. You're going to have to let go of control. You're going to have to decide that you want to be happy. You have to make that decision that you want to be happy. You have to let go of those power struggles. You know, nobody's going to do it for you. You guys are holding on to some something that is probably allowing you to escape. It could be an addiction of some sort. It's like it's trying to escape the reality that you are going to have to put in the work to free yourself from something that is toxic, okay? You're dealing with a toxic situation in which you have to take the stand. Nobody's going to do it for you. And you don't have to like me, okay? Coddling never got an adult anywhere. There's an opportunity for you to go on a new journey, a completely new journey. Drop the baggage. Drop whatever it is that's, that's you're trying to escape from. Whatever, it's an addiction of some sort. Whether it's an addiction, it could be sex. I mean, whatever it is, it's something that's not serving you. It's a toxic situation. It could be a person. It could be a person. It could be drugs. It could be alcohol. It could be food. It could be anything. Whatever this is, you have an opportunity to drop it and to start over. But you have to take the lead. Nobody's going to do it for you. Nobody. You're throwing away a golden opportunity, a solid opportunity for success by sacrificing yourself to some sort of demon, okay? You're sacrificing yourself needlessly because of your emotions. Trying to escape the work that you have to put into something. Not going to be easy. Whatever this is that you're trying to overcome is not going to be easy. It's not. You're, a transformation is, a full transformation is needed. But you're going to have to put in the work. You're not going to find success in anything solid until you let one cycle of your life end and it's going to take your effort. You may even have to face society, you know what I mean? And, and face your, well, haters. Doesn't matter what they think. Fuck them. It's about you and your success. There's a cycle that needs to end in your life. And you are trying to escape reality. This is escapism. This is also addictions. There's addictions here. You're deceiving yourself. There's more to what's going on than meets the eye. There's something going on that you're hiding very, very well. You are hiding your addiction very, very well. Or maybe you're not. Maybe you're not hiding it well. Like I said, addictions come in many, 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 many forms. Codependency is an addiction. Any kind of codependency is an addiction. Something you got to have. You got to have it. You got to have it. That's an addiction. It's affecting your success. Yeah, it is. It's not bringing anything good into your life. It's not. It's not bringing any growth into your life. If you want to be happy, you're going to have to face your fear. Something is off. Whatever you're receiving is false. Okay, it's a, it's a, 
It's a quick fix. It's a quick fix, but it's not long term. Yeah, it, it fixes your your feelings emotionally. It masks some pain for a minute, right? It's it's comfortable, but it isn't long term. It's not going to fulfill you emotionally forever, whatever it is. Whatever it is that you're trying to, you know, hide. Whatever it is that you're trying to hide, I think that, you know, whatever it is that the there's no growth in it. There's, it's fake. It's, it's fake. It's it's a it's a mask. And it's time for you to go within, and come up with Plan B. Plan B is needed. Take time out, a serious time out, and I mean a serious time out. Step back and focus. Focus on your inner being. Focus on yourself. It's time for you to be aware. It's time for you to wake up. It's time for you to see the light. Where do you want to be in five years? Is this where you want to be? Do you even know where you want to be? Have you taken time to think about that? Because somebody is on a very destructive path. Trying to escape the work, the planning. Acting recklessly. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Hard work is needed here. To bring success, you're gonna have to work, 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 work. And you know who you're gonna have to work on? Yourself. Face your fears. It's time to accept reality. Nobody's going to fix you. You have to do the work. And that may take a retreat. It may take time for you to really step back from the world. Because there's something inside of you that isn't healed. And, and you can't keep holding on to this obsession. There's an addiction or an obsession here that needs to go. You're going to have to work a lot harder. I'm sorry. I am sorry. To relight that fire within. There's a passionate new beginning waiting for you waiting 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 new growth this is this is a new opportunity a new exciting opportunity a new adventure waiting for you but you're gonna have to put in effort to relight that fire within you have to you have to if you keep stubbornly holding on to something that doesn't serve you because it eases your pain for a minute maybe even an hour whatever maybe even longer maybe for a you know at night if you get drunk or whatever it is you know if you if you you know that's just a mask okay that's just an example it's an example I'm not saying all of you are drunks I'm giving an example all right some of you say no I don't drink well then this reading is confusing you. It's not for you. You know, no, no. This isn't just for people who drink. I'm just giving you an example. But anybody that is confused by this reading and doesn't know what their addiction is, find the next reader. Okay? I'm not trying to escape reality. I'm not trying to deny anything. Somebody in this reading has an addiction, something that they are dealing with that is toxic. Could even be another person. It could be an addiction, like I said. And they're refusing to take action and put effort into real change. Doing the very minimal amount and expecting success. There's no success in that. All that does by not taking the steps, all of the steps that you need to take is continue to bring chaos into your life and imbalance. Somebody's not making wise decisions. Not accepting the truth in denial. 
refusing to wake up and find their power. Listen, Sagittarius, nobody's going to hand you the power and say, oh, here's the power. Sorry. I'm not trying to be a smart ass. It's just whatever comes out, comes out. I don't change my tone, my words for anybody. I'm never going to. Okay. You find your power. You find your power. You relight that fire within. Because nobody's going to do it for you. Nobody's going to do the work. You have to do the work. Somebody is giving their power away to an illusion. Fantasy escapism. There's no success in that. There's a lesson that needs to be learned here that hasn't been learned yet. And you want to know what that lesson is? Facing your demons. That lesson is not sabotaging your own success. The only one that can keep that liar light lit, that fire lit, is you. Nobody's going to light it for you. And if you think that somebody's going to come in and relight your fire, I'm here to tell you that you are sadly mistaken. The power is in your hands. All you have to do is use it. Is there new love? I don't see it. You guys are dealing with a toxic situation, whether it's an addiction or it's a partner or whatever it is. Could be a job. Whatever it is, you're sabotaging your own, you're sabotaging your own success by holding on to it. Whatever it is. You're dealing with, with a situation that has caused you to become withdrawn and cold and detached and you're dealing with probably another person or two or three or whoever. You're dealing with somebody who doesn't have good intentions for you. There's no love there. And you're blocking your own success. You're blocking your own success. You're blocking your new life. And I almost feel like this is lack of self-love with both of these, this king and queen reversed of cups. You don't love yourself to, enough to take back your power? You don't? You're blocking success because you're stubbornly holding on to what you know. Them demons, they have complete control at this time. All you have to do is stop thinking about it and walk away from those demons. That's it. Right now you're thinking about it, but you're not doing it. Do it. Do it. What do you got to lose? What do you got to lose? The toxic situation? That's what you got to lose. Time to move on from this toxic situation, whatever it is in your life. Your advice for this week is get your ass in gear. Take back your power. This is the journey to balance and harmony. That's what it is. But you have to get on that boat for real. We're going to get you one of these. Is this a love reading? No, it's self-love reading. That's what it is. It's about you loving you. You think, some, like I said, somebody's going to come in and fix you when you don't love yourself? I don't think so. 
If you don't love yourself, there ain't no relationship in the world that's going to work. And if you don't believe me, just try it. Support is all around you. It is. Ask for support. Fellow travelers. Be open to support and help from others. You don't need to do it alone. Sometimes that support comes from someone you least expect. If someone offers you help, accept it. Trust that your life is guided. Unseen spirit travelers are helping you. Unseen angels, spirits, God. Know that you are very loved in ways that you may not always directly experience. And you're not feeling loved. You're not feeling loved. Well, if you don't love yourself, then, I mean, hey. <sighs> Blessings from above are showering over your life. You are safe. Angels and spirit guides are real. And their presence is near. They're only a thought away. They're messages. They're messengers from the creator. And they come with immense blessings and love. Fellow travelers are guiding and supporting you, and they love you deeply and profoundly. Be still and open your heart to their messages and healing. They will come to you in soft breezes, rainbows, and feathers that seem to magically appear. Sometimes they will come in the form of a stranger with a message. Pay attention to synchronicities because you're probably going to get a message probably from... Somebody that you don't expect that is going to change your life. Hopefully, maybe it's me. I don't know. Where was I? They will come to you in soft breezes, rainbows, and feathers that seem to magically appear. Sometimes they will come in the form of a stranger with a message. These signs let you know that you're going in the right direction and that all is unfolding exactly as it should. Messengers from the Creator come with immense blessings and love. Be open to receive love from others. Be open. Be open. And I think that you closed yourself off from love because there's lack of self-love. Take back your power. It's time to be happy. Fight for what you deserve. Relight that fire within. Stop thinking about making a change. Just do it. Just do it. Do it. That's your advice for this week. Face your demons. Talk to you later.